Всем привет! Hi everyone! Oh, some dirt under my eye. Привет, привет, добрый вечер. Точнее, let's wait for more people to join because notifications are usually rather slow. Привет, Гаррет Уильямс, привет. Hey, 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 I see people coming. It's been a while since the last time we met live here. Привет, друзья. Sorry for not um, make, uh, making an announcement in advance. Uh, if you remember, I made a video about a giveaway the other day, so it's all still here. Hopefully tomorrow I will, or maybe even today after this live, I will go and uh, put the results there. So you still have time if you go to one of the previous videos and leave a comment. You can get passport covers, cool Russian traditional postcards. Um, mm -hmm. Oh! A lot of people here already. Привет, друзья, привет. So, in one of the previous... Uh, is the sound bad? Oh, I see in the chat. Do you hear me? Tell me about the sound. No, no sounds okay. Okay, so if something's bad, let me know. So, in one of the previous videos, I promised to tell you more about this event and uh, to show you more of this amazing book. So, if you like Russian history as much as I do, that would be really nice today. <laughs> So, if you watched one of the previous live videos, I have already showed this amazing book made by Labyrinth Press. I have tons of uh, books there. Daniel, thank you so much for your support. So, you see, the, the quality is just so amazing. We can make that ASMR. I love it so much. So, uh, this is the event. I hope you can read this. Ледовое побоище. Побоище is the old word for a battle. Бой, битва, побоище. Ледовое, видите слово? Лед, лед. Лед, ice. So, Literally, the battle on ice. I don't know if they portray ice here. So, it happened on the frozen lake. This is one of the most famous battles in Russian history. Of course, there are tons of debates about it and uh, the significance of it is widely overestimated. Oops. Because in different times, different leaders used the figure of Alexander Nevsky in their personal interests. Here he is, Alexander, Russian prince. Uh, for example, Stalin was using, not Stalin personally, I mean in the times of Stalin, uh, his figure was used a lot, a lot as a an example of a good leader, kind of to compare Stalin to this guy. And as you probably understand of that comparison, this guy was not very nice. <laughs> but he's a Russian hero. He is a saint, actually, which is very interesting how such a person can become a saint. Uh, if you go to um, the Orthodox Church, 
who can find him on the icon and can pray to him. Like, no, thank you. Um, all right, all right. So, uh, a lot of people, when they hear the word Russia, uh, they think that Russia has always been like that, this gigantic state. But uh, actually, for, for centuries, Russia was a set of independent principalities, let's call them like that. So it's not like there was one king, one czar, and he, he was ruling this huge Russia. No, it was a bunch of independent small places with their own rulers, and they were constantly fighting each other, you see. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and it is interesting that one of the lands, Novgorod, Novgorodskaya Zemlya, uh, you probably have heard the city of Novgorod, Veliki Novgorod, wonderful, wonderful place. I even have a video about it from about two years ago or something. So it was a republic. Russia had a republic in the 12th and um, the 13th century, Novgorodskaya Respublika. And it's interesting that uh, when some prince would come and try to rule them, they would just kick him out if they didn't like him. Then they asked somebody else, like, come to us and try, maybe we'll... Maybe we will like you. If they didn't, again, they just kicked him and, yeah, just ruled themselves. Come, uh, come, come into the meetings on the squares, deciding their different questions and everything. So, Alexander Nevsky, Ruski герой. Видите, это самое известное его изображение. Uh, one of the most popular depictions of Alexander Nevsky. Um, okay, I don't want to... I think I messed something up here. Yes. Um, вообще, надо говорить по-русски, наверное, по-русски. Uh, по-русски он князь. Князь. В России, на Руси... Не было королей. Russia and Rus didn't have kings and queens. No, не король. В России, точнее, на Руси сначала был князь. Князь. In English, usually it's translated as prince anyway, because uh, there is no equivalent. Князь. Князь Александр Невский. Uh, so, his wife would be Knigina, Knigina, like uh, Knigina Olga. Remember, I promised to make a video, and I never did, about famous Olga of Kiev, Knigina. Um, the daughter of Knyaz would be Knyazna, не принцесса, нет, Knyazna, Knyazna. So this is the uh, leader. And uh, what is this battle about? As you probably know, I hope you do, and I hope you heard of Crusades. Crusades starting in the 12th century in Europe, Livonian order of knights, uh, I'm not sure about pronouncing it, Teutonian order. In Russian, it's Teftonsky uh, Orden. So they were going throughout the whole Europe fighting against Muslims, fighting against Orthodox Christian, spreading their influence. So here is the depiction. I think I had this figure of a typical Teutonian knight. 
Tell me about my pronunciation. Is it correct? Teutonian Tiftonsky. Oh my god, I can make so so many cool things with these guys. But I guess it's more like TikTok style. <laughs> so here they are. Это рыцарь. Да? Рыцарь. Knight, the word knight, warrior, is рыцарь. Рыцарь. I even have it written here, but in a very strange font. Рыцарь. Uh, even in Star Wars, Jedi Knights, in Russian, it's рыцарь джедай. Рыцарь джедай. Это не джедай, конечно. Это рыцарь Тевтонского ордена. Рыцарь Тевтонского ордена. Смотрите, он в доспехах. Armor in Russian is доспех. Or the plural form доспехи. Доспехи. Это шлем. Шлем. Да? Меч. Меч у него длинный. Здесь крест, черный крест. Угу. Так. И вот еще есть стрелок, да, кнехт, кнехт. А у него, смотрите, арбалет, арбалет. Его оружие это арбалет. Он стреляет из арбалета. Вот это два представителя Тевтонского ордена. Был еще Ливонский орден. И эти рыцари сражались против славянских христиан, да? наших православных, в Прибалтике. В Прибалтике. So those crusades, they were not only against Muslims, they were also against the unfaithful Orthodox Christians. That Catholic Church considered them to be bad people and they wanted to convert them to proper, so-called proper Christianity, the right Christianity. So this is a castle, замок, замок, да? Например, здесь, в Словакии, много замков, везде замки, да, видите, красиво. Это башня, башня, башня замка. Вот это ворота. Ворота, они поднимаются и опускаются. Здесь, правда, не знаю, поднимаются ли они и опускаются ли. Рыцари жили в замках. В России нет замков. Опять, нет королей, нет рыцарей, нет замков. В России есть Кремль. Кремль. И Кремль есть в разных городах, не только в Москве. Есть в Туле, в Новгороде. Yeah, sorry about the thumbnail. I just wanted to make some fun. <laughs> oh my god. For no reason. Oh, wait a second. Woohoo. We had a third guy here. Оруженосец. How could I forget about him? Оруженосец – это человек, который носит uh, оружие. So the uh, word building, just like German. Носить оружие. Оружие носит. Оруженосец. You can read it here, but again, the font is pretty strange. Оруженосец. Оруженосец. Он вез щит, копье рыцаря, 
помогал рыцарю. Он помогал рыцарю. Помощник, помощник рыцаря. Вот рыцарь, а это оруженосец. Оруженосец. I like these figures so much. Um, дальше. Why don't they have uh, Russian warriors figures? That would be kind of cool to play, play around with them. Um, здесь в книге можно раздеть рыцаря. You can take off the knight's clothes. Yeah, but unfortunately only until this leather jacket. Because armor is very heavy. If you ever tried armor on, I did. It is very heavy and it, it's very heavy. <laughs> uh, so people were wearing those leather things so it doesn't press on your, on your skin too badly. Oh, here's the Russian war warriors. Смотрите. Русские воины. Воины. Вы видите? Uh, this is a tricky word. Uh, my favorite Star Wars thing is when Russians... I, I told it about it in my podcast about Star Wars, that a lot of Russian people think that Star Wars is звездные воины. It means star warriors. Star warriors. Uh, русские во, uh, да, звездные воины. So if you turn this E to Y, like short E, remember Y, it turns to the plural of the war. War. Русские воины. It would be Russian wars. But воины is warriors. Warriors. So here you can see the difference uh, in armor. Русский доспех. Русский доспех. Это щит. Щит. У воина должен быть щит. Shield. It even sounds the same. Shield, щит. I think it sounds funny in English. Like щит. <laughs> В общем, это щит. А это меч, длинный меч. Бывает меч одноручный, да, да? а бывает меч двуручный, как клеймор, да, клеймор двуручный, двуручный меч. А, так, что еще? Ну, сапоги, кожаные сапожки, сапоги. Красивые. И тоже шлем. Да? Причем, видите, у него э, еще специальная кольчужная сетка. То есть у него вокруг головы сетка из кольчуги. Из кольчуги. Защищает шею фью, от скользящих ударов. Так, что еще посмотрим? Что еще посмотрим? Здесь даже разные виды плетения кольчуги. Смотрите, different types of making the armor. Why am I saying armor? Actually, I'm meaning scale. Scale. What's the word кольчуга in English? I remember, I think it's scale. Scales. Please tell me how is the chain mail? Yeah, chain mail. So what what was with scales? There was some. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Кираса есть еще, когда не кольчуга, а такая плотная. Это кираса. Not sure about how it's in English. Кираса. Кто знает? Um. Нагрудник такой. Так, дальше. О, а вот вам и шлем. 
Oh, thank you so much for your donation. Спасибо. And please don't be mad at me about not answering your emails. I can't answer them every time. Sorry. Um, так, вот шлем. 3D helmet. Шлем. Круто, да? Классный доспех. Ага, так. Оружие тевтонских и русских воинов. Вот здесь даже есть картинка. Смотрите, как они делают оружие. Это кузнецы. Да? Молот, наковальня. USSR symbols. They're making weapons. Weapon in Russian is оружие. Оружие. It can be any weapon. It can be cold steel. It can be uh, rifle, spear. We forgot about spears. Actually, knights and Russian warriors too, they were using spears a lot. Вот это опять круглый щит. Да? Round shield. What's, the, what's in English? A bucklet? Buckle? Buckled. I don't remember. I should have prepared and checked checked out the in English name. Buckler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what? Круглый щит. Круглый щит. Вот это обратная сторона. Обратная сторона. The back side. So here the ручка to hold the shield. Держать щит, да, чтобы держать щит. Вот я уже сказала арбалет. Арбалет. Crossbow uh, and uh, uh, bolts in Russian would be арбалетные стрелы или болты. Uh -huh. Арбалет. А это лук. Лук. Old type of, um, of a bow. Не не композитный лук. Старый, простой, старый русский лук. Uh, so, to the battle now. To the battle now. So here are the Russian warriors. They were coming from uh, the Novgorod Republic and from the Vladimir Principality. Vladimir. Vladimir, uh, it is about three hours of driving from Moscow. It is a very popular touristic place today. Vladimir. So it was a capital of one of the Russian principalities. Um, so, Russian warriors. Смотрите опять. Щит. Да? Щит. Меч. Шлем. Шлем. Thank you so much for your support. Спасибо. Um, что еще? Конь. Конь. Лошадь и конь. So I received this question some time ago. What's the difference between лошадь и конь? Лошадь is... A, a, uh, so it's a feminine, like female Female horse is лошадь, uh, and конь is a male horse. However, if you don't know who it is, it's just a random horse, of course you're not going to check who it is. Um, you can use both. Лошадь, конь, doesn't matter. So, вот они собрались на... Озере Чудь, Чудское озеро. It was so long ago, it's almost impossible to know anything for sure when it comes to the times of so long ago. And historians are not even sure that it happened on that lake because all the archaeological expeditions, they didn't have much success. There. 
Wow, this is epic. Итак, ледовые побоище. Побоище на льду. На льду. Это лед. So there is a legend that during the battle, during the battle, uh, the armor of the Teutonic uh, Order Knights, it was so heavy, the ice started to break. Да? Лед начал ломаться. Thank you so much for your donations. Спасибо большое. Лед начал ломаться, и многие рыцари, many knights, многие рыцари, drowned, утонули от тяжелых доспехов. Heavy armor. Heavy armor. Тяжелые доспехи. Вот здесь еще... Мы забыли про топор. We forgot about axes. Топор. Да, топор. Тоже интересное оружие. Топор. So, Russians prevailed, defeated, so, oh my goodness, defeated knights. So, this battle is considered uh, one of the victories against uh, Western, um, Western expan expansion. What's the word? Oh my God, I forget English. When it comes to evening, I just forget all the vocabulary. So foreign and especially Western and Catholic expansion uh, into Russian lands. So this was one of the major points in that history. But again, a lot of speculations there, uh, a lot of things that are still unknown. Is this about the battle with Sweden? No, the battle with Swedes, Sweden happened two years before that. It happened in 1240. This battle on the ice happened in 1242. So, and Alexander Nevsky participated in both of them. So he's considered this super nice Russian hero. However, he was a very cruel and vicious man. Uh, all the, what's the word, rebellions, there were many rebellions. Uh, he was ruling in, um, in the time of the Mongol invasion into Russia. So Mongols were ruling Russia at that time, and they were given permission to Russian prince to rule his lands, but they were given a huge tribute to Mongols, and it was a crazy period of time. So, Russian people tried to revolt against Mongols. So, guess who stopped them? Guess who was cut in tongues and e ears and taken off eyes of people who didn't want to stay under the Mongol rules? This guy, <laughs> so he helped them. Now they say that his politics was kind of wise. He was kind of trying to uh, be cunning and become friends with Mongols and everything. But I, I don't know. I guess we will never know the truth. We will never know the truth. But I still don't understand how this person can be considered a saint after that, after he was killing and... Uh, tormenting, torturing Russian Orthodox Christian people who were fighting against Mongols. Strange, really strange, right? Crazy culture. So that was the book I wanted to show. Let me actually show it closer because it was difficult to kind of appreciate the quality because it's so amazing. Look at these illustrations. 
What is the main religion in Russia? It's Orthodox Christianity. Pravoslavia. Pravoslavia. Мой сынок передает привет. 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 So, again, here is the map. Карта. Map in Russian is карта. Карта. Вот Новгород. Смоленск. Владимир. Владимир. Москва тогда была не важна. Moscow was not important at that time at all. It was a tiny village. Well, not exactly tiny village, but uh, only a hundred years later, Moscow will become an important city. Daniel, thank you so much for your support. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Oh, sorry, Alexander, move a little bit. Whoa, whoa, какая красота, да? Красиво. Это город, Новгород. Вот новгородская монета, монета, coin, coin, really nice. Вот этот замок, помните? Замок. Книга в старом окладе с металлом. Очень красиво. И видите, шрифт стилизованный. The font is kind of medieval stylish. Really cool. Здесь можно почитать про... Тевтонский орден больше, да? Вот шлем опять. Вот это из музея, наверное. Так, что здесь? Здесь что-то странное. Вот про этих рыцарей. Вот они, рыцари Тевтонского ордена. Вот у них даже лошади с крестами, крест. Вот куда они ходили. А вот это озеро. Вот оно. Чудское озеро. Там, где была битва. Вот. Видите, стрелки. Это показано, как они шли. Здесь опять, да, одежда. Вот они. Смотрите. Рукавицы кольчужные. What's going on with this guy? Oh, he's taking off his chain mail and being happy. Celeb yeah, no more chain mail. I'm free. <laughs> What is this song? Some guy decided to participate in making this book and become a model for him. But this is a book for kids, don't forget. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was doing some yoga, kind of down dog. Oh, thank you, Milton, for becoming a sponsor of my channel. Truly appreciate this. I should make more videos specifically for people who... Our sponsors. Опять доспех, да? Вот смотрите, разный шлем. Красиво. Что здесь еще? Ой. А, это я показывала, да? Кольчуга. Клепанная кольчуга, чешуйчатая, пластинчатая. Oh, Roman, thank you so much. Так, а здесь? А, и вот щиты. Каплевидный щит, как капля. Like a drop of water. Капля. Каплевидный. Круглый. And tri triangle. Треугольный щит. Красиво. Вот, опять этот шлем, this 
awesome 3D helmet. Uh, so here's more about the weapons. Very interesting. Imagine being a kid and kind of looking through this wonderful book. See, every detail is so incredible. So we see they scanned a real sword of that time. Super. Super. Вот человек стреляет из арбалета. Арбалет. Арбалет. Вот опять разное оружие. А, еще забыли булава. Uh, good lord. Uh, mace. What's the name of it? Mace? Булава. I'm not sure. I forgot all the names. Mace. Yeah. Oh, I still remember something. That's good. <clears throat> My years of playing in uh, playing Diablo 2 was not in vain. At least I remember. Oh, sorry guys, there's some buffering happening here, I guess. Something with my internet. So is it working now? What about the quality? I turned on Wi-Fi, but I'm not sure if it's going to be okay. So here is the illustration of uh, the tactics. So how they formed the formation, the tactica. Форме свиньи это называется. So that's how they were going through the lake. О, еще меч. Красиво, да? Это рукоять. Рукоять. Или гарда. Так. Look how beautiful it is. All the details. Diablo 2 is the best Diablo. Yeah, I think so too. So here are Russians. What битва? So the whole battle is here. Archery, no archers. Русские лучники. Archer in Russian is лучник. Лучник. Здесь рыцари, knights, да, рыцари, knights. Кони. Боевые кони – it's um, battle horses. Is it still still buffering, you say? Let me on my turn off the Wi-Fi. Sometimes it works better without Wi-Fi. Oops. Mm -hmm. So again, this pop-up construction. Some helmet flying. Shouldn't have wore the heavy armor on the ice. Too late. Mm -hmm. Вот топоры. Топорики. Вот старые иллюстрации из хроник европейских. Красиво, да? Amazing quality. Еще топор. И все, это конец. Вот победа. Победа means victory. Победа. Все. Здесь про то, как в современной культуре, в современной культуре, как воспета эта битва. Uh, so here are the people who helped create this book. Вот они. Реконструкторы, да? Реконструкция. Those are people who like to 
wear costumes and re kind of redo the events, remake the events of the past. Вот спасибо этим людям за такую чудесную книгу. Да, супер. Опять это вот лабиринт. Лабиринт. Точка. Ру. Okay, so that was it. I wanted to share this oops, amazing book with you. Thank you very much for watching. Whew, if you have any questions, let me know. Also, if somebody is in Prague, I'm going to Prague tomorrow, the Czech Republic. So if you will be somewhere in the center, we can meet and, uh, I don't know, just... <sighs> Super hot here. So, anybody from the Czech Republic here? Oh, so if you are not having any questions, I'll go. I'll go and uh, pack my things because the train goes. О, Яцек, ты же спать пошел. Ты сказал спокойной ночи. Um, uh, so the train is at ten. 10 in the morning and I'm gonna walk there with my backpack and hopefully we'll make a video about that because I haven't traveled alone for like 15 years. Mm. Спасибо. Спасибо, друзья. Thank you very much. Спасибо. Спасибо. So, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some Quarantined Czech Republic. It's not quarantined anymore, but still no outside European Union travelers allowed. So hopefully there will be no as many tourists as usual because every time I come to Prague, there is this giant crowd of people. I couldn't even get into the um, cathedral there. So hopefully this time. So my Instagram is Real Russian Club in one word. One word, Real Russian Club. Oh, if you search for three words, I guess you will find it anyway. Uh, any news about the giveaway? Yeah, tomorrow I will po post the results. So thank you very much for staying with me. And if it's not too difficult for you, press like under this video. It really helps to promote videos for other viewers without any, any activities for, from my side, like buying ads or something like that. I never do that, so. Okay, thank you very much. Всем спокойной ночи. And uh, see you next time. Пока-пока. How to finish out here.